This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. So this is a special episode, an extra episode that we're doing because uh, you are doing something really cool at Bearskin and we want to talk about it. Yeah. We launched a Kickstarter campaign for our Underwear of the Month Club on July 25th. It's been awesome so far. And I'm super excited to talk about it and let our heavy conversation listeners know all about it. So I love this idea, Underwear of the Month Club. This is very cool. Uh, Can you tell us a little about the idea? Sure. So so we've been doing Bearskin for like three years now. We did a Mm -hmm. Kickstarter way back in the beginning to launch it. And we're like, hey, we have this great group of people that were so passionate about us at the beginning. So let's go back to them and say, hey... We want to launch an Underwear of the Month Club. So we started doing another one. We have been kind of struggling to keep up with demand. We've been, you know, everyone's loving it. It's flying off the proverbial shelf. Nice. So we wanted to kind of make it easier for people to get this great underwear. So you sign up or you pledge or whatever on the Kickstarter campaign. And then once it's over, we'll be sending... You know, depending on which level that you subscribe to, Mm -hmm. either one pair a month or two pair a month, whatever. So every month you'll get a new pair of our amazing bearskin underwear delivered to your door for you to enjoy. Right. So we got all kinds of great new prints and patterns and colors and new designs. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. We might have even given a little sneak peek in the Kickstarter page if you dig deep nice maybe you'll get to see some new designs yes but yeah it's been amazing and it's it's so much fun to like see the support that our community is giving us it's it's so nice to feel it feels great so i've seen the kickstarter page and am i am i correct this is the the bearskin box is that yes bearskin box okay the bearskin box nice so each month uh someone will get Underwear, is that? Mm-hmm. Okay. At least right. you'll be getting a pair of underwear every month. Nice. Maybe some other surprises in there that I'm not going to talk about yet because they're going to be surprises. Well, here's what I can say about that and why I like this idea of a monthly subscription box. It is not uncommon, and I know that some of you listening are, are doing this thing because I have done this thing <laughs> where... <laughs> You get underwear, you keep them, you wear them, like I said, like I've said before, until they catch fire, yes. until they explode, until they fall <laughs> off of you. What underwear are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about okay, that. Okay. Not ours. Not yours. But this is a way to get uh, new drawers on a regular basis, yes. get some designs, get some things that, uh, uh, that, that look cool, something different, something mm-hmm. new. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's nice to have that. It's nice to have something... And it's just lines. something you don't, it's a, one less thing you need to worry about. It's like, oh, I need new underwear. Yes. No, it'll, you'll get this great little box packed with comfortable pairs of underwear. That's the other month. thing. Yeah. And it's great. Is, you know, if we're being real, a lot of people don't like to shop, especially yeah. a lot of guys don't like to shop. Yeah. So this is a way to I even not don't have like to, to shop. Do. Yeah. Right. You don't have to worry about that. You basically that. sign up and you wait for your amazing underwear every month and. Yeah, it's going to be great. I think everyone's already loving the idea. They're like, oh, my God, I can't believe you. Why didn't you do this earlier or sooner or whatever? Oh, right. getting more pledges as we speak. My so, phone's vibrating. So <laughs> <laughs> Nice. So, you know, the good thing is for those of you who only wear one pair of underwear per month, then you'll get a new one. You change those out. You're good to go. Right? The one pair that yeah. you rotate inside out, backwards, <laughs> right, frontwards. Right. You can wear them four times, that, right? <laughs> that stand on their own when you take them off. That's gross. Yeah. 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 So I do have a couple key points. Okay. Just, I know it's whatever. Um, we're doing $53,000 and it's an all or nothing type of deal. So mm-hmm. it's really important that we reach the full amount. That's how Kickstarter works, yeah, right? It's all or nothing. Yeah. You okay. have to hit your goal or you get nothing. Sure. So you won't, you can pledge and you won't get charged until the end date, mm-hmm. which is the August 24th at 7 a.m. So make sure you get your pledges in by the 23rd, I would say. Perfect. Yeah. But so there's all kinds of different levels. You can do one month, three months. We have. I don't know if there's any more early bird deals still left. I haven't looked 
right this second, but there's some early bird deals or there were, you can do six months, 12 months. There's all kinds of, there's even some really fun ones where you can be a model hey. for bear skin. And we, we've talked about this modeling thing. Yeah. Before. You can be a model or you can even help design a new pattern what? with one of our amazing creative director over here ah that's awesome so if nice. you have some fun ideas of new patterns or prints or if you're an artist you have some crazy ideas there's a there's a pledge level just for you and you can work with our creative director to design a, a great print i love that and and if you're on the fence and you're not sure go to the kickstarter page which they can get to from bearskin.com yeah right? you can get to it from our website or you can just sure. search it on kickstarter.com search for bearskin okay it'll come up when you get there, you know, if you're on the fence and you're trying to decide, I encourage you to watch the video. Oh, yes. I think that that <laughs> will help you make this that was decision. so much fun to do. I, I'm i not a professional actor. What? But um, I do dabble. No. Um, <laughs> so we worked with these great people at Tibbetts Creative here in Portland. They're amazing. He, um, Yeah, it was so much fun. We went around different areas in Portland. We were over at some, I don't even know what falls. And we went to Mount Tabor. We were all over the place. It was so much lots fun. Lots of Oregon landmarks. Uh, yeah, lots of Oregon landmarks in the summer heat. It was great. Mm. It was so much fun, though. Like, right. have this little bit going. and Well, it's, it's good because it also shows if you're on the heat, you suffer for your craft. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Important. Yeah. It was, I think. It was a lot. Yeah, it's fun. Nice. It, it, those are the like fun days for me, like getting to go out and shoot videos and photos and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Can, can we, can we take a, a quick break here uh -oh. to uh, uh -oh. enjoy a celebratory beer? <laughs> um, now, you know, we, we drink a lot of different types of beer on heavy conversation mm -hmm. and today we wanted to do something really special. And so we've done it as a limited, for the special episode, a limited release. Oh. This is a beer you may or may not have heard of. It is called Z Z is it Zyma? Z Zima. 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 Okay. Refreshing citrus beverage. Mm. Limited release. Yes. Wow, guys. It's back for Where did you find these? It's back. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. I, I don't even want to think about the last time I drank one of these. Right. Really. This, this takes me back. This takes me back. Let's, let's see what we've got <laughs> here. To high school or, or uh, um, yes. after high school? I, I mean, mean. <laughs> I mean, I never, uh, of course, <laughs> after I was 21. After high school, I mean. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Okay. That is refreshing. This tastes like a really bad soda, like soda that has been out in the sun for a long time. Um, and then... Is that orange? Is there orange there? It says refreshing citrus, citrus. beverage. So... Artificial orange flavor, yeah. Okay. So... Lemon-lime yeah. orange. It's orange know. mixed with doom. Doom? Strained. Doom. Strained through a wet sock. Hmm. I'm not getting the. Eh, you know, I'm it's, not getting the wet sock, but it is. There's something at the end there. Is that like ginger? How, how I about think this? Um, bubbles. I'm, I'm getting I'm, bubbles. I'm excited here because you Sorry. know we're 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 diving deep into what Zima tastes like. We haven't done this for any of these other episodes. I know we need to do this. We, it's fun. What what episode do we wait to do this for? We wait for the Zima episode the Zima. to well, actually well, start. Uh, when trying else to be would you start describing it? Right. Oh. That is um, fun, though. Yeah, yeah. So I um, honestly didn't know that they stopped making it right. because I never look for it. That's why I was like, what does it mean limited release? What is the flavor? What is the thing? And they're like, There's oh, a beer, and I'm just going to throw this it. out and hope that somebody listens to this and remembers. <clears throat> there is a beer that I think was made by Anheuser-Busch way back in the day. I want to say like at the turn of the century. Oh, excuse me. Lots of um, that was an agave beer. Turn of the century. Yes, it was, and it was of like this century. It was supposed to be like a cactusy kind me. of like. I feel like it was like at that time their answer to Corona. I don't think they make it anymore because I don't remember what it was called. But I remember drinking a lot of it, and that it was it was like a skunky, <laughs> smelly beer. This is a great story. I know. I, I know. don't remember what it is, but it was gross. I'm gonna have to find it, and I'm going <laughs> I'll have to share it. So it's. Uh, but when I see Zima, it reminds it me of, you of the gross yes, beer you don't remember. Of beer from that level. Yeah. So uh, yeah. But anyway, Zima. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. For whoever Zima. found this one. <laughs> scrounge this yep. one up yep. so back to our kickstarter mm -hmm. please um <laughs> <laughs> go and uh pledge we have I, like i said i don't remember if there's any of the early bird deals left but there are, mm -hmm. are still some amazing deals that you can get you know three six twelve month subscription you can get a whole year you can even maybe gift it to someone right it's a perfect gift for your husband 
brother. Do you big bodied person? Do you maybe for for people who uh, who maybe haven't tried uh, bear skin yet? Do you want to talk a little bit about? Uh, about your underwear and kind of what sure. makes them different? Sure. So we um, designed uh, bearskin underwear specifically for big bodies. So we kind of redesigned what our typical underwear normally do. And we um, also repositioned some seams in between your legs mm-hmm. as I'm doing motions you can't see. <laughs> um, so there's extra uh, mesh in between your legs to help with more breathability, less is chafing, which is really nice. Um, it's a bamboo blend with a little bit of cotton in it, this new stuff. So it's going to be a little bit stronger than the, some of the older stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, also there's no tag, so there's no itchy tag, uh. but yeah, we expanded sizing goes all the way up to six XL. It's got a four way stretch, so it'll move with your body, move throughout the day, but it won't ride up or do all that nasty stuff. It's nice to find underwear that you actually want to wear with patterns and designs and colors that, yeah. that, that go to 6X because that's not something you see a lot of. And mm-hmm. when, when I was originally back when I started Chubster looking at underwear and big and tall underwear especially you were finding a lot of tidy whities You were finding mm-hmm. when you looked at those sizes you weren't finding much that really stood out that was like yeah. oh that would be fun to wear. Yeah the white tidy whities yeah, that and, are all stretched out and Right, and you deserve to have fun underwear. Fun, comfortable, supportive underwear. I mean, it, it really can change your whole day. Like, if you have... I know this beer is way too oh, bubbly man. and fizzy. We spend, we spend <laughs> at least a quarter of our time on this podcast trying not to burp into the mic yes, after drinking you're this beer. You're so, welcome. yeah. Yeah. But, yes, supportive underwear, comfortable underwear that actually fits, really can change your whole day, can change your whole life. Absolutely. It's about it's about having options and uh, you're creating a great option and you're doing something that uh, uh, gives people a monthly new pair of. Underwear. Yes. I love it. So go check out Kickstarter dot com. Look for Bearskin or you can go to Bearskin dot com. B.E.A.R.S.K.N. dot com and share our campaign. Yes. If, if you can't, you know, you're not able to help support us right now you're sharing supports us as well or do a reward and share it there we go do both i like it thanks bruce for letting me chime in about our exciting kickstarter campaign thanks for talking about it and uh thanks for suffering through zima with me yeah i think i'm done with that yeah thanks guys Bye-bye. go to kickstarter bye thanks for listening to heavy conversation Be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts.